I feel like ranting. I really, really feel like ranting. I feel like, you know, we have these government officials that want the economy to pick back up, right? They want to, they want people to get out there and start working after they shut every motherfucking thing down during this whole COVID thing, right? Jobs have getting, job uh, descriptions and titles have been deleted, 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 deleted. No, I'm not picking you up. Go lay down on the pit. No. And don't start crying. No. So, and they've deleted and deleted and deleted and deleted. So, to the point where people can't even pay for their basic stuff, which is, you know, their utilities, their gas bill, their, you know, their cable bills, their internet, their whatever the case may be, right? So, they can't afford to pay. And people are starting to shut these things off because they can't afford it, right? And then you got these jobs, these, 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 these uh, companies that want to take advantage and like, okay, we're going to toss them out, you know, minimum wage jobs and we're going to, we're going to make them grovel for the job. No, what people need to do is just fucking sit tight and fuck you to these jobs, right? Tell them all, fuck you. And when the whole system collapsed, because that's what they wanted in the first place, let the motherfucker fall then. That's how I feel right now. Like, I feel like, I feel like, you know, there's no saving greedy motherfucking corporation businesses, especially in America. We, the, the assistance was never given out to the people to get the economy back going. Whereas other countries were actually taking care of their people throughout this whole pandemic. Uh, America didn't do shit because what are we, what do we call ourselves? A non-socialist structure, that's what they say. Knowing that there needs to be some form of socialism, especially when you got a mandate of an actual federal government shutdown for businesses where it's no longer um, you being a... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Hold on. This is me venting. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Because Robert Perkins put something out about the gas prices when the gas prices kept going up and Biden didn't do shit. Hold on. Yeah, we're a capitalistic structure, right? So we're a capitalistic structure. However, you got the federal government that shut everything down, state governments that shut everything down during this pandemic, which is very adverse to so-called quote unquote quote capitalism, right? How do you have a capitalistic structure when everything has been shut down? And then job job uh, descriptions, job titles, job... Uh, um, jobs have been completely annihilated and have been um closed like certain certain job types have been closed throughout throughout this pandemic however the system has not rebound right it has not rebound we are not back to the way it should be in this economy however we're asked of much we're asked to go back to work for shit pay Americans are asked to go back for shit pay. Meanwhile, the cost of living has gone up. Food prices have gone up. Utility prices have gone up. Um, let's see, what else has gone up? Oh, yeah, housing has gone up. If you have a car, car payments have gone up. If, if, if you can even get your hands on a brand new car, if you, if you can afford to get your hands on a brand new car. Insurance has gone up. Everything has gone up, right? Everything has gone up. And then these employers want people to go back to work for minimum wage. They don't want to pay anything. And then the gas prices. 
If you do have a car, the price of gas has gone up. If you take public transportation, that's gone up. Everything's gone up except for wages. Wages have not gone up. Actually, they've, got, they've gotten lower. At what point are people going to wake up and say, what the fuck? It's better off to stay at home. You're not wasting any gas. And if, if you're going to get that little of pay, right, for your time and your effort, you might as well stay home and not get paid. Honestly. Honestly. It doesn't matter how much experience you have. It hasn't. It doesn't matter what you offer. It's a take, 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 take system. There's no give. There's no give. So at this point, if you see shit completely collapse, whose fault is it going to be? Whose fault is the uh, is a total collapse going to be? Because there has been no rebounding. There has been no putting money back into the system structure. You know, you got all these these different what, what were these stimuluses? These fake fucking stimuluses that these politicians gave out, which was a is a fucking joke. The stimuluses were a fucking joke. There was no economy stimulus for anybody. Who got the fucking economy still stimulus? It wasn't the people. Was it the banks? Was it big corporations? Who got the fucking stimulus? Nothing has been stimulated. Where'd the money go? Where did all this these billions of dollars go? Where did the money go? The stimulus money. Nobody holds the politicians accountable. They don't make sure that the politicians are telling the, the American people the, the truth. They don't make them be accountable. Signing passes for stimuluses that the people never got. Who's accountable? And when the system, stru when the system structure completely annihilates itself, which it's going to do, who's to fault? Greedy politicians are going to be the ones to fault. They put these stimuluses out there that didn't actually trickle down or even trickle down as a fucking joke. Trickle down. Just the thought of trickling down. The type of money that they pass for these stimuluses should be like a tsunami, not a trickle down. And nothing's changed. It's all a joke. This is my rant.